RTX 2070 and i7 9700K processor aspects is what I would say is a considerably high-end PC. Now today I'm going to test and see how much FPS this PC can top with different settings on two games, Overwatch and Fortnite. Now if you're not a fan of neither of these games, don't worry, this will be helpful for you either way to show you how powerful a PC must be to reach a certain FPS on different graphic games. This is part of one of these series, so if you want to see more videos from me, then smash that subscribe button with your bell notifications on, and let's hit that like button on my account, right? 3, 2, 1, go, go, go! First off, we got Overwatch, and you've maybe not heard of it, but it's a multiplayer game that actually has some decent graphics, and I'd say it's a little better than Fortnite's graphics. I tested it in both practice range, which is single player, and in normal mode. Match. Let's take a look at the results. Now here are the video settings page of Overwatch and as you see here my limit FPS is set to custom on 250 and my graphics quality is set to ultra. Now remember that you can have it on whatever settings you want uh, if it, but remember that the lower you go the more the more FPS you will get and the, the, the higher uh, qu graphics quality you go the less you FPS you will get so I'm gonna have ultra because my PC can handle it and the game looks a lot better and actually I will only uh, only demonstrate how much FPS the game can get with ultra settings so I'm sorry but you can uh, re like if you use uh, lower settings then you can expect to get like maybe 20 or 30 FPS more than I uh, than I get now in practice range I, I took a look and it actually was lacking around like 140 to 170 FPS uh, pretty consistent actually but since I, since I had 250 as max FPS then like my computer was striving to get a FPS it couldn't handle that's why it was going up and down all the time um, but if you have a good max FPS then this won't be a problem and also uh, you will get more FPS uh, when you're not recording so uh, I think you will get like or I would get like 180 190 FPS if I would not be recording so that, that's a big problem with this video that I'm recording and that slow sliding process of this, this video or of the game but anyways around 140 to 170 FPS on practice range now in an online lobby and a quick play of overwatch there was barely any difference between this game uh, when you're talking about the FPS aspect and the uh, practice range and the reason for this is obviously because the lobbies or the lobby in Overwatch is very very small there are only 12 people in it so the FPS won't change a lot compared to Fortnite where your FPS will change a lot or you will see a big difference between uh, a creative where you, where you play up to 16 players uh, and the uh, in an actual game where you play uh, where you'll play up to a hundred players so nothing no, nothing much here to say here um, you can you get around 140 to 170 FPS when recording and when you're just playing casually you, you will maybe get like 190 FPS depending on your settings let's go over, let's get over to Fortnite okay so I don't play Fortnite too often anymore but so we'll see how this goes but if you do you do play Fortnite and you want to support me a little bit then put in the awesome code Starks in the item shop that would mean a lot so I'm using if you unlimited frame limit so basically it will be as high as, as my as the computer can get to and I will basically start off with epic settings then go down to medium and after that go scale down to the last one low now I'm not gonna be going through the me the uh, far or the high setting because there's basically not a too big difference between high and epic uh, settings uh, graphics setting settings in at least in Fortnite so uh, I felt like it will just take time in the video so I won't be ha having that in video I'm sorry but the first FPS test in Fortnite is obviously creative and I'm gonna be uh, after I've tested everything I will make you a little list uh, and, and show you guys how much FPS you approximately get with each graphic quality settings so well with epic medium and low um, so let's get straight into it so not right now it should be this displayed how much FPS I got with every single graphic setting in Fortnite creative and if you're not catching up really you you basically can't catch up with all these FPS settings and stuff you don't know what's happening then do not worry I, I, will, I will have a summary part of this video it will be a video chapter to it where I basically showcase how much FPS every single setting and every single every single game got um, so you show so it will be a, a Basically everything will be stored in one place uh, so you can just check that well whenever you want to know how much FPS this set this or that setting got same thing here again I will I'll go into normal solo match play around with all these 
different settings, epic, medium, and lower off. And to see how much FPS I will get, I will put them in the, on the screen uh, right now or something. And after that, after this, I will also make, as I said before, a little summary and a little showcase of how much FPS every single game mode and every single graphic graphic setting got on these games. Now we are coming to the summary part of, of the video where I'm basically going to be showcasing how much FPS every single setting and every single game got, except for Overwatch, which is, which is basically uh, when in practice range and in a normal match. So, but remember guys that this is only when you are recording and when you're streaming it will be a bit less at all also, but this is when you're recording so you can expect maybe 10 or even 20 FPS more to every single of these settings. Now I won't be counting in them well, when you're not recording, but you can basically um, think about how much FPS you would get when you're not recording, when you're just casually gaming. So I'm gonna start with Overwatch. In Overwatch practice range, you got well, I got at least 4 100, 140 to 180 FPS. Now that is obviously because, as I mentioned before, it was because I had a very very high max limit and it well strived for, uh, strived for very high FPS that it, that my computer couldn't handle. So that's my fault, totally my fault. But I would say around 180 FPS for this one, and for in a normal Overwatch match, it was a approximately almost the same FPS count and that was because it was it is well pretty much the same lobby size in both these games or in both these uh, game modes so around 180 when you are recording a video and when you're playing you're just casually playing maybe around 190 200 FPS so that's some pr pretty decent FPS values at least for a game with pretty good a good graphics quality at least that was overwatch now let's get over to the game that mo most people here find a bit more interesting and that is Fortnite. Now I as you saw on the screen I played creative and tested the settings and a normal solo match in Fortnite and basically tested it out with the different graphics quality settings. So I felt like let, let's go over the list of different F FPS values of uh, when I played creative. So first off I had my e epic settings and it got around 160 to 170 FPS. Now that's that's really good. Let me just tell you that right now, for the gr highest graphics quality um, on on uh, Fortnite, which is epic, that, and they got 160, 170 FPS. That that is really really good. Now we, now with we with medium, when we turn down the graphics quality, it went up to around 350-ish FPS. That's still good. That it goes up, and now when you, when we take a look at the low slash off FPS values. It, ta it takes a turn up with the FPS even more. Look here, it is around 380 to 400. That, that is honestly even more FPS that you could ever ask for, that, that, or more FPS that you even need, honestly. That was the FPS in creative. Now let's get over to the Fortnite solo match. And actually, with epic settings, it got around 125 FPS. That's still good. I mean, it's still good for the highest graphics quality, as I said. It is still good with this PC. And with medium, when you turn down it a bit, it goes down to, or it goes up to 220 FPS. And when we switch it down to low or even off with some settings, it, it goes to it doesn't take it goes go up a lot, but it is around 235 to 240. So not a big difference between low slash off and medium in a normal solo match. But you know what? Those 15, 20 FPS may have a big role in your in your gaming experience. So who knows? Alright, that was a very different type of video on my channel, but if you do have any feedback regarding this types of videos, then make sure to, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below telling your thoughts about this, what I can, or what I could, could improve for my next video, um, and if you find any of this helpful, remember to leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel with the bell notifications on to not miss a single video from me just like this video. Uh, with that said, see you next video, Storix out.